Hi, I'm Alice Miller and I'm a PhD student in EMP looking at the application of sustainability standards in the European canned tuna market. I'm looking specifically at canned tuna because most of the tuna caught globally is processed into cans. The focus on Europe is because the world's largest market for canned tuna. The thing is, tuna is found outside European waters and whilst the EU does have a sizeable fleet, it now imports 55% of the tuna we buy in cans in order to meet consumer demands. So the market is European, but the fishing itself is happening externally. As with many other fisheries, there are lots of concerns about sustainability in tuna fisheries, and many of the world's tuna stocks face an uncertain future. As fishing technologies become more efficient and less discriminate, more tuna are being caught, as a non-target bycatch species. Problems associated with overfishing also have implications for small-scale coastal tuna fisheries, whose populations are often dependent on tuna as a source of protein. Additionally, the industry itself faces an uncertain future should supplies of tuna resources collapse. In light of these issues, my PhD is looking at some of the strategies that are being developed in both the public and private sectors that are trying to introduce sustainability standards. Through a combination of document analysis and interviews, I'm going to look at four different case studies where these standards are being developed and implemented. The first case study is on the Europeanization of tuna fisheries in the Western Central Pacific, looking at how, using the strength of its market, the EU is projecting its regulatory agenda beyond the EU. The second case study is an examination of the intended and unintended consequences of eco-labeling, focusing on the MSC certification of tuna fisheries in the Western Central Pacific. The third case looks at the role of retailers, in particular UK supermarkets, in setting sustainability standards. The focus on certification and retailers is because they're both playing critical roles in market-based governance strategies at the moment. The final case will look at the emergence of fisheries improvement projects in tuna fisheries. So far, these are an underexplored aspect of fisheries governance, and I want this case to be used to look at how these projects promote continuous improvement in sustainability performance in tuna fisheries. An overarching theme running through my thesis is sustainability. How is it being framed and how are institutions responding to this framing? In addition to contributing to overall academic debate, my PhD is, will be part of EMP's Best Tuna project, which explores whether and how market-based governance arrangements provide adequate incentives to adopt sustainable fishing practices that reduce pressure on tuna stocks in the West and Central Pacific. <laughs>